In this video, we're going to talk about how you can get cinematic drone footage in under five minutes. So, with that said, let's jump straight into the video. So for this video, we are using the DJI Mini 2. This is the only drone I've actually used. And to be honest, it is great if you want to get some nice drone shots. It may not be as good as some of the other drones out there, but if you're a beginner like us, it is a great starter drone for you. Tip number one, try to take out your drone at sunrise or sunset. As the sun isn't fully out yet, it generally makes your footage just look that little bit nicer especially with the sensors on drones like the DJI Mini 2 not being that great yet. Tip number two, try and plan what you want to capture before flying. This helps you to know what you want to focus on and what angles you're trying to get. Sometimes it's nice to capture the same place but use different angles. Wherever possible we try and go out to a location where there's not that many people about so we can get all the different angles we need. So tip number three, use slow and fairly simple movements to get cinematic footage. Often you want to take it up high and go really quick, but I find slower the movements, the actual easier it is to control your drone, which makes it easier to make that look a bit more cinematic. Okay, so tip number four, if you are a beginner, a little bit like myself, it's always worth trying to take your drone out in an open space. Now, this is actually really useful because by doing this, you are then able to really play around with those controls, which will really help you get that cinematic footage. Don't make the mistake I did and accidentally crash it into a tree. Have a look up here. And like I said, don't make the same mistake that I did. I also always try and make use of the Cine Mode, which is on the DJI Mini 2 and on lots of other drones, just so I can make sure that I'm getting those slow and more cinematic movements with my shots. If you can, always try and use some ND filters for your drone. Now, ND filters are a little bit like sunglasses for your lens, and these are really good, especially if you are taking out your drone during the day when the exposure is that little bit higher, especially because the sensors on drones, especially the mini drones, which are often used for beginners like myself, are not always that good. So investing in one of these can really help if you're taking it out during the day. As always, I would always still recommend taking out your drone at sunrise and sunset, but it is always worth having these just in case you need them. So if you found this video useful and there are some tips which you are probably going to use or if there are some tips that you have already used, let us know in the comments down below or if you have any suggestions for us. Like we said, we are new to using drones ourselves and we're not experts, we are just learning as lots of you are as well and for us it's just a bit of fun so if you have any tips feel free to leave them in the comments down below okay so if you feel like you got value from this video feel free to give the video a thumbs up it really really is appreciated and of course if you're new to our channel we would love it if you hit that subscribe button this okay. has been sam and jack from tech fusions thanks so much for watching catch you in the next tech fusions video